Where are we going today, Domokan? Oh, New Jersey. That might not be enough. So a bit of a disclaimer, uh, you know, that Minecraft episode I made that no one watched. I'm trying to only make fun at, at books I read. I actually read Ms. Marvel. Uh, it's, sometimes it's not totally terrible. Uh, I like the first volume. I think if you cut all the SJW shit out of it, you'd have a very cute and funny uh, Spider-Man-esque uh, origin tale for Kamala Khan that would work. Unfortunately, uh, G. Willow Wilson doesn't understand how human beings mostly function, and the result is Ms. Marvel. <clears throat> this issue, uh, Ms. Marvel and Red Lobster here are trying to stop a runaway train. And if if there was ever an apt metaphor for this, this show, it's a runaway train. They're in a tunnel, two tracks. Um, <laughs> you don't, don't worry about the previous issue. It was just them trying to get to this point. Um, I have a feeling that G. Willow Wilson went and watched uh, Unstoppable because they make a reference to it in the comic book. Or maybe a couple other things decided, well, I can pad out my series with this. So finally, we have an actual legitimate problem. They've got a crashing train. So she picks up the lead car of the subway and moves it over. Small problem. Uh, this train, <laughs> this this train is, um, it's got a good picture here. It's got more cars. So by picking this up and moving it, she would simply have derailed, I think there's like six cars after it, would have derailed them in the tunnel, killed everyone in this train as it all piled up in there. But hey, what do I know? I'm just some fucking nerd on the internet. I don't write comic books. I just research things to make sure I don't sound like too much of a twat. But uh, no one in Marvel does. Shut up, Furnace. You come out of the tunnel... Like the cheap ass speed lines. Uh, that was amazing, incredible, astonishing. I'm an adjectiveless superhero. There are no adjectiveless SJW superheroes. They'll add something to your frickin' name when this book gets shit canned and you get another one. This, you no, know, it all rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, we we get it, Red Rocket. We you know what else you want rolling off the tongue? We got haram food there. <clears throat> we pull into. Some place in New Jersey. Now, last I checked, New Jersey didn't look like the fucking outback in Namibia or some other place in Africa. There's, you know, if you have, the, there's no street here. So, I don't, I don't think a place like this exists in the U.S. This is this is worse than. Uh, your typical western, because at least the train didn't run straight through town. And even if it did, it's not making that turn. They're going to crash right into Ralph's back here. Right? There's, there's no... I've, I've driven through the Midwest of the U.S. I got lost in Illinois for a few hours because I didn't want to drive through Chicago again. And at no point did I come to a place with no paved roads and a track running through it. Did come to a couple places with no paved roads, though. Uh, the further off you get from from the interstate, the more interesting the tourist traps gets. And if you have a lot of time traveling the U.S., I strongly recommend it. So it, 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 we're on the news. I don't know where this helicopter is. Because this, I think this maybe this was before they went in the tunnel. She's busy. Talk about she's gonna looks like she's gonna pick her nose. There are bigger issues here, whether on how you look. Here we get more wonderful padding. That's a map of every mile of track in New Jersey. Put that thing back up again. It's like a circulatory system, veins and arteries and stuff. We have a page which is there just to pad the train and wreck out. That's what I think of it, the bloodstream of the Garden State. Back in the day, we had more blah blah. You are not old enough to have been tying onions to your belt, dude. Not at all. At train tracks are possibly the most New Jersey reminder that everything is connected. Blah, blah, blah. 
Can we sublet this writing to Bendis? God damn. Fist. We'll rewrote the train on a track that's out of service and runs up a big hill, the biggest we can find. Um, slight problem. You don't run commuter trains up giant hills. That causes uh, that <laughs> causes crashes and stuff and loss of traction and other things. If you want to go on YouTube and look up a video about why tra trains can't go uphill, you can find it. It's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna go. They're gonna hop onto a different track. Um, here's the thing. Something about this switch. Like, there's no. I don't know how much you guys know about trains, right? But there would be a, a switch here somewhere that someone will hop off and throw. Like if you watched Unstoppable, you know that some there'd be, there would be a switch here or some kind of control to flip it over, right? There'd have to be something. They're just gonna have a a set of tracks in the middle of nowhere. And if this didn't go anywhere, this entire line would have been decommissioned by now. Especially in a place like New Jersey is that built up. Squeezes it over. Just about gets itself run over. Who cares? Back on top. Here we've got some more for him trying to see what he can get Red Leader into. Uh that's that's creepy. Willow, she's like sixteen. And this. Why you check out this hill? Check out that goddamn hill. That's not a hill. A train would go down. That's a roller coaster hill. At the bottom, runs into a lake. I don't know how you know about oh, I don't know physics in relation to things like inertia. That this would instantly have caused this train to derail. But because the issue in itself is a runaway train with no brakes, we get to keep going. Uh, we think switching to different grade messed up the engine's hydraulic system. Uh, the the grade can't mess up the hydraulic system because your hydraulic system is entirely self-contained so you're not spewing tranny fluid all over the ground. Okay, this is... What's wrong now? Reason! What are we supposed to do? Don't know. So she hops in the back, grabs this car, starts pulling on it. I want you to look at that grade. Okay? You should look at that hill. Now, hopefully my next slide is right. There we are. I broke out an actual ruler, which I hidden from myself. Here we are. And even just going by this, right? Just going by this picture. Whoop, hit my lamp. What happens when you start drinking at a quarter after one in the afternoon? That is a two to one grade. That is a 20%. An editor would have gone out and noticed that there are no 20% grades in the U.S. And I checked. I checked. I did their job. I went and checked. The steepest grade in the U.S. is about 17%. Uh, it's an old uh, freight or coal railway. You can go just type in uh, steepest grade in the U.S. There isn't a grade on the planet that's 20%. The reason there's not a grade on the planet in 20% is because this dinky-ass diesel engine is not going to pull that up a 20% grade. The simple physics dictates that, that you would not build a track like this. And this is an abandoned track. You would not build a track like this for anything unless you intend to do an awful lot of pushing it up, in which case it better not be going far afterwards. This does not exist in the US. I realize we're in fiction. Uh, but the least you can do is not go and break uh, too many facts. At least a little bit of realism, the back, back car starting to decouple. Um, if you're sliding down this way, if that's, like, look at this. He's sliding. Like, this, the steepness of this. This train would have come to a stop already and started to move backwards. Coupling finally comes apart. Only really realistic thing. It actually tips back like this because where she's got it. Kind of makes sense. She ripped up the whole tracks along the way. Uh, I have a feeling we've seen Spider-Man do this somewhere else. But since she exists in a world with Spider-Man, I'm willing to let it pass. But 
thing derails. Uh, I don't think that's the cafeteria car. So they've gone and all these chips and stuff, they've crashed over someone's uh, spank spot in the forest. Jumps out. And finally the news shows up. And we get some damage. Everyone's like, oh, look! Red Ranger! How You're amazing! Who does your hair? Who blah 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 blah? Um, so the press has been reporting on Kamala since she started. And while I get, yeah, the press is going to be like that, someone's going to pay attention to her. I feel kind of sorry for Kamala here. Like I said, I actually, I kind of like her as a character, even if the books, she's in are typically terrible. And this is setting up, right? If he's right, you need to change the scenery. Time to care the one person Miss Marvel has left behind, the person in the mirror. Uh, if this was going to be the end of a series, I could understand this. This is the end of an arc. This comes off as extremely dark. Uh, but the next issue is... Yeah! Uh, for those of you who weren't reading Harlequin and... Oh, what was it? I read like a dozen issues of it. The DC one where Harley's got a bunch of other chicks acting as... dressed up as Harley. I was like, oh, we're going to have a whole team of what? Normies to fight crime? That works well if you're the Punisher, not if you're... Like, I'm positive these are all people in uh, in the Marvel bullpen, but I don't know enough of them to remember. Of course, we have more of a mascot here, because this is Disney. Whoever this fat chunk is. That might be the Dan Slot. I don't know. I don't know what these people look like. I don't pay attention to, I don't pay attention to drama on Twitter and stuff. They're probably all self-inserts. Hey, look, I snuck you all into the book. <gasps> 22 pages later, and... What do we do? What 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 did they do? They stopped a train. They they stopped did something that could have been solved far far sooner. Last issue, as a matter of fact. So this month, this month we've had we've had She Hulk come out with a total filler issue. I was going to make fun of it. It's too goddamn dull, and someone else got to it before me. Nothing happens in it. You can skip it. We have whichever X-Men I reviewed, and they're starting to bleed together. Nothing happened in that issue. Uh, this here, nothing happened in this issue. I'm, I, the reason I'm already drinking at one something in the afternoon on a Saturday is because uh, Squirrel Girl was so bad, I'm going to get mad at it next. This is basically warm-up for getting mad. We've had a bunch of things, as though they were like, they they couldn't pace out their issues enough to get ready for the day legacy hit, and they could you know rejigger a bunch of stuff. Filler, Marvel, 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 the company that makes filler. This has been another wonderful episode of the Great Canadian Neckbeard. When you get mad at something, like certain below. See you in a couple of minutes.